Okay. So, because yesterday I didn't get to uh, film too much because uh, we had to go deal with the car situation. Uh, we're going to out to Concord West today. Um, hit the bridge there. I'm going to bring the other bucket with all the other rope and uh, tie on to our other uh, magnet so we've got enough length to reach the bottom all the way. And uh, we'll try and get some of those deeper spots. See if we find anything. Um, I may bring a fishing pole with me. Uh, definitely. I may bring that new uh, Zebco Rome. I haven't got to try that one out yet. And let's see. Huh. Anything else I'll probably remember later. Uh, I've been up since 6 this morning. Um, my uncle didn't need me today. So, I uh, get to go magnet fishing again. Um, our original plan was to go to a different spot over there, like an hour away. And uh, the car had another problem. So, we went to the car dealership and then mom well, got a new car. So, we're all good to go. Everywhere, anywhere. I got a couple hours and found a couple lures. That's hey, that's cool for <laughs> having to run and uh, figure out somewhere to go. I was so shell shocked from everything, <laughs> but uh, we got there nine, ten o'clock in the morning. And didn't leave till four or five in the afternoon. Took a long time. It does when you're buying a new car from a dealership and all that good stuff. But uh, we're sorted out now. And uh, our red basket fits without me having to fold it into the back. So I'm a happy camper. I can just lift it right up and put it in there and be on my merry way. So stay around. We're going to go magnet fishing. Um, it may rain. I've got all of my raincoat and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see what we get. Who knows? Alright y'all, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, first dip in. Might have something on here, not sure. Probably just a lure. And, nope. Nothing at all on there. Okay. Alright, let's see if we pull anything else up. We're going to be at this bridge a minute. A good minute. All right, y'all. See ya in a second, hopefully. I don't know if we got something hit, yeah. I don't know if it'll come up. But we got something on here that's weighty. Probably a big old bridge bolt. Yep, that's what it looks like. Uh, yep. Gigantic bridge bolt piece. Or no? You know? Maybe it went to the bridge. Maybe it's one of the rivets right there. Cool! Alrighty, what else we got on there? Some type RC bottle cap and some crunchy vets. Alright y'all, cool. We'll get back to you if we find anything else. We got something else weighty on here. Oh, this is actually really heavy. What in the world is this? Maybe a big old bridge piece. Holy crap, y'all. Maybe another boat anchor. Whatever this is. It might be another lantern. Um, oh. What do y'all think?
It's got some build up on it. Maybe a boat anchor? Huh. I don't know on that one. It's got a little lure attached to it. We'll set this over next to our stuff. I don't want that falling back in. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we pull up from uh, the other spots. Ooh. Well, look at that. We have a tool on there. Uh, it says double depth area thread. General Hardware Inc. New York. Or MF, MFG Co. Inc. Cool! Whatever this is, uh, anyone know in the comments, let me know. That's a piece of wood. Alright, we'll get back to dipping. Okay, another big hefty item. Looks like a big old bar. Is that what that is? Big old piece of rebar. Two big, two pieces. Okay. Yep, two crusty pieces of rebar. I didn't mean that to happen, but we'll clean it up. Okay, let's hook this on out there. And see what else we find. I'm on the other side now, I'm just trying to take my time. See what we pull up, if anything at all. You never know. And uh, I see on the bottom of that log right there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lure attached to it. We may try and grab that. All right, y'all. We'll be back if we uh, find anything cool, and I'll show you. Something super heavy? What the crap? Uh, okay. Oh, we got us a sign. Oh, thank you, God. Um, yeah, <laughs> look at that, y'all. Oh. <sighs> that one ain't been down there too long, and a rusty nail. Oh. Let's get a good look at it. We just pulled that up. Whoa. Okay. All right. Let's tuck back out there. See what else we find, huh? That's crazy. Another big old sign. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Guess what, y'all? We got us a flashlight, I think. This one might be a little too far gone. But it's an older one. Yeah, look at that. That's a proper old flashlight. Ooh. Yep. Well... We'll get that out of the water. Good to get that out. All right, let's see if we find something else. All right, <clears throat> after this cast, we're gonna move back down to the other side of the bridge those fishermen have left. Hey, a turnkey for something. Found a little net there, some nails, crunchy bits. All right, let's get all that. I don't want to leave that behind. Let's get that. And a uh, AAA battery. And uh, 
That sucks about that flashlight, but uh, I went to take the top off of it and it disintegrated. Um, we're going to walk back to that other side, see what we can catch on that side. So we'll see you there. That's pretty cool, though. All right. We'll be back. So we're here at this log. And I'm figuring out a safe and careful way to get down. Truth be told. And our lure is just on the other side of this log right here. And we're going to be extra careful. Yeah, right there, right there. That's the lure. Hey, we got it. Very cool looking. A little sun bleached. Not the problem though. All right, I got our 85th fishing pole here. Just casting out a little bit. Getting to mess with it just a teeny tiny little bit. Not that I think I'll catch anything, but more or less just to have some fun with this. My little pocket. There we go. We're just gonna see. The first little cast out here we got uh, some bottle caps, some hooks, and some rusty, crusty bits. And a little worn out lure, it looks like a uh, natural ice. And this is probably a uh, Bud Light. Um, there's a hook, a little lure, and the rest just appears to be worn out hooks and crusty bits. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, first cast off to the side. We have. An earbud. Uh, any particular brand? It's got a G on it. Yeah. G? Ultralight. And that's about it. Cool. Is that fishing pole number 87, maybe, possibly? No, just a tip to it. Kids rod. All right, let's see if the rest of it's down there. We had to move some stuff around. Try and get to that area. Oh, there might be something there. I got a catfish bell and some line. And a little tiny baby lure. The old tiny baby lure. Just, just look at that wee old tiny baby lure. What else is on this? Ah. Fishing pole parts. The handle to a fishing pole. That actually looks good enough we can use. And another lure. So we'll get this up here. Maybe we'll find fishing pole 87. I don't know. All right, find something, we'll show you. Okay, we just pulled up part of uh, the shopping cart. It's gotta be like a handle or something. Maybe the front, back, I don't know. That's what we've pulled up so far, other than just bits of fishing string. We just pulled up this little lure with our claw. Very cool, very cool. Let's throw this with the, our other lures. Oh, we got a name. Thin Fan. All right, cool. Very cute. We'll get that in there. See what else we find. Okay, so walking up here, I spotted this sitting on the log. We'll get a gutter look at it here in just a second. 
Be right back. Okay, wow. Just wow, y'all. That's brand freaking new. Brand new. Poppin' frog. Bobber's right there. I, that wasn't for this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hobble our butt right on over there and get that bobber while we're here. It's gonna get it later, but uh, let me uh, throw your ball back on the chest harness real quick. That is so wicked cool. I wanted one of these. Thank you, God. I don't have to spend the money on it now. Heck yeah. This is why I love magnet fishing. You find all this crazy stuff you don't have to spend money on that you would otherwise. Very cool. We're going to throw it up on the bank and then we're going to grab the boober. Be right back. Uh, okay. I wonder what this is. Ugh. Something electronical. Gigantic heat sink right there. Oh. So sound stream. It's been down there forever. Oh, there's a name. Is that the same thing? Yeah, sound stream up top. Sound stream. Maybe something for a car subwoofer. Makes me wonder, y'all. Makes me wonder. Okay. Our magnet was hitting onto something. So was the claw. And I was like, what is that? It must come out. It was magnetic. I knew it was junk. We'll get that thrown away. All right. Let's see what else we pull up from in front of here. We be back. Check this out, y'all. Oh, where did I just put it? I know it loud. Oh, there it is. We found a key on this thing. Cool. Check that key out. Probably for something. Got our little frog lure in there. May rain here in a second and I may have to throw my raincoat on. Don't know yet. We'll let you know if we find anything else. Let's see what we just pulled up. Oh. Some. Ooh. Revlon scissors and some crusty bits with a crusty lure. Ooh. Ooh, those scissors are good. We'll clean those up real good. Ooh, Italy. These Revlon made in Italy. Mamma mia. All right, let's get our magnet cleaned off and thrown back in. Hi, Mr. Ducky. I've got nothing for you still, so, um, yeah. Don't mind if you hang out, but uh, please be careful. All right, we'll be back. What else did we just find? A uh, bunch of crusty bits, a can lid, and a steel plate. Cool. All right, let's get back out there. All right, we just pulled up Fish and Pole 87. Little Zebco light action. With a 101 reel. This one is no good. Um, we got, I guess, a stringer on it. We're just going, we're this close to the trash can. We're just going to walk up here and throw this one away. Um, but I'm trying to find some more cool stuff, y'all. So let's see what happens. We'll get back to you if I do. Fish and pole 87. Unfortunately, it's trash, but hey, it's a fish and pole and I'm counting it. All right, y'all. We'll talk to y'all here in a little bit. 
Okay, we just pulled this up another Coleman lantern. Only thing it can be. Very cool, it's raining. So I'm gonna have to put y'all back under the jacket. And now uh, this is too toasted. But a cool find nonetheless. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright y'all, we're gonna do a little bit more. I found this little lure. That's been about the only good lure I've found here in a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get on down to the third dock here in a second. And do some magnet fishing down there. And clawing and whatnot. I'm gonna throw away this lantern and uh, we're gonna get back to magnet fishing an area we just hit with the claw see if we pull anything else up we did that so very cool all right y'all check y'all here in a minute okay everybody we got fishing pole 88 right here again this one's no good much to my dismay but uh it's a zebco stingray so it says 2400 no ZXB8. Looks really different standing up here. But uh, any which way, we did find a pair of scissors. I'll show those later. And uh, hopefully this rain cuts here soon. Alright y'all, we're headed to the third dock. Okay, the rain has quit. This is what we've gotten at the third dock so far. Big bolt was out on the end here. And we're going to cast out that way again. Got a little screw on there too. So let's see. Let's see what we find. All right, y'all. We find anything? I'll let you know. All right. So we just pulled up another telescopic Ozark trail pole, and don da da da. Fishing pole. Eighty nine. It is a Berkeley pole and a Mitchell reel. So Berkeley right there. Lightning zero zero shock engineered for super lines. And what does it say? Medium spinning, 8 to 15, sorry for the angle, and a Mitchell 300. And I guarantee you I can get this to work. So we have just a tangle right here. We're going to get all that clear and we'll have us a, another fishing pole. Now I'm not going to count this as a fishing, full fishing pole because there's no reel. Now we find the reel to it, which I know what the reel is. And uh, I will count this as a full fishing pole. But until we find the reel, no. Alright, y'all. We'll be back. Oh my god, y'all. Our... See if that's... 89. This is our 90th pole, and it's a bait caster, y'all. And guess what? She just needs probably a little bit of some TLC. And this bait caster will be running like crazy. Agility. Who's it by? We'll have to look it up. Um, oh, Shakespeare agility. But we got our first bait caster. We gotta get this one working. It's on an ugly stick. But uh, sadly, I think the tip. We have that spare tip. We will bend this back out best we can and we will clean this up oh my god y'all I'm so happy I don't find bait casters I've been wanting a bait caster so bad oh thank you God God is good y'all all right let's see if we pull up any more <laughs> I'm so excited all right y'all I did pull up that little piece of one. Let's see if we pull up any more. All right. We'll let you know. Fishing pole 91, y'all. 
I uh, can't tell what reel it is, but it says a uh, Gander Vortex for the pole. Pole's usable. And uh, just happy we're finding these fishing poles, y'all. I knew there had to have been another one down there. Let's keep trying, see if we pull up any more, shall we? Hopefully, uh, check out that sunset, y'all. We got some people fishing on the dock with us, so I'm not putting them in frame. But uh, we're trying, y'all. There's something down there that wants to come up. I don't know if I'll be able to save 91's reel. But we're going to try. If we can't, we might use it for the uh, whatchamacallit. We might use it for the pole for the oh, bait caster. Alright y'all. We'll see you in a minute. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Don't rain. Come on now. Check it out, y'all. Fishing pole. 92. And it's complete. I pulled the top part off and it came off. And I was like, no! You're ha you have to be in there. I know exactly what you are. So now we got one. Check out that rainbow, y'all. God is sure being good to us. Here in this last little bit. Oh, let's check the... Oh, yeah, look at that, y'all. That'll clean up real nice. Yeah. We're cleaning up on poles, I'm telling y'all. Told you we'd hit 100 before this year's out. 89, 90, 91, 92. All right, y'all. Let's see if we pull up more. Look at that. Rainbow over there, just getting brighter, and we got a sunset. All right, let's see if we find more fishing poles. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think I got pulled out of here. Someone's a makeshift anchor, maybe? Okay. We also found that toe strap in there. That just came up. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Alrighty, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, everybody. We found another Mitchell real and I'm willing to bet it's the one that goes on uh, that Ozark Trail one all right y'all we're gonna try and do a little bit more and happen so that means the Ozark Trail is our 93rd and we got to get all this cleaned up here soon and my battery's gonna die but I'm gonna keep trying a couple more times and then we're gonna clean up as always I hope everybody had a awesome wonderful day and if you didn't i hope it gets better for you and i hope you're doing well and if you're not doing well i hope you get to doing well real soon and we'll catch everybody in the next one all right y'all we'll see you later okay we've cleaned up our reels from last night and we cleaned that one up but that one zip tied and i didn't have a knife handy with me I put this ugly stick tip on our ugly stick pole. I'm going to do something about that eyelet right there here in a little bit. Uh, I haven't cleaned up the gander mountain pole and the tip got caught in the door last night. So it broke. But we have a Shakespeare Agility Baitcaster. That's on the cheaper side of baitcasters. It's like 20 bucks, but hey, this is our second baitcaster. And everything on this works perfectly. And then we go over here to this one. This is a Quantum Acuras, if I'm uh, remembering that right. 
but I only saw one thing on eBay for like $85 and another one on eBay for $89. Um, craziness. And then we get to this thing. This, I think that's bent a little bit right there. Now I'm going to have to try and bend it back. i got to look at more pictures of these. But this, this is a Mitchell 300 reel. And it is the modern one. And this runs from anywhere from about $60 to $79. Um, you can get them a little cheaper, I think, on Amazon. But uh, craziness. And all these reels work and run. And we're going to show So, first up, this little agility, Shakespeare agility bait caster. Everything on it works good. Freaking great. Our 90th uh, fishing pole, and it works. So the Quantum, Quantum's been down there, I think, the longest. And it needs a little work. It's a little rough on the handles. I still got to clean up the body a little bit more. But, it does work good. We got to oil and grease these all up now. This, uh, whatchamacallit, Mitchell 300. It says it has 8 or 80 bearings. But works good. Worked real good. Um, most of them I just had to clean the mud out from underneath them. Uh, most I've done to this so far is just clean it off and hit it with a wire brush on the handle to clean uh, this off. Now, uh, where is it at? The tip to this Barkley fishing pole, which I looked up. It's a, well, it's upside down is what it is. This is a Barkley. Is it focused in? Come on, focus in. Barkley. Lightning. I think 200 shock. Engineered for super lines. Strike amplified tip. This is a $55 pole. Now it's a little bit rough on its cork. But that's fine. You don't mind. And like I said, I don't know how or why, but uh, the tip fell off. So I'm going to replace the tip on that. I've got one around here somewhere, and I'm going to go buy a kit to replace them. But uh, I've got these out here. They're going to stay out here today. And dry out. And then we're going to take them apart. And clean out, grease up, do everything we need to do. So I'm pretty sure that's just saying like eight bearings. But runs super smooth, runs super smooth, needs a little bit of work. And our poles need a little bit of work. Where is it? So I told my mom, don't close it up in the door. And I was walking over there to do it and she forgot and closed it up in the door. But this one, our... Second fishing pole we found was a blue one of these, and this works perfectly good. I tried to take it out. I forget how to pull these out, but uh, works good, perfect. Um, I'll figure out how to pop it out and clean the bottom of it. But uh, heck yeah, y'all! Heck yeah. <clears throat> so. We've got some expensive reels, our second bait caster, and a modern bait caster. Our other one was a vintage one, and it's missing this little knob right there. But I'm so happy my 90th pole was a bait casting reel and an ugly stick. And we have a tip for that pole. So, oh, 
freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're at 93, which is incredibly hard to believe. Um, for a minute there, I wasn't finding anything, and I, I don't want to lie, I was praying all day, all day long to try and uh, get some good finds. And we got some good finds in this video, to be sure. There's a, you know, a sound system, weird weighty thing from the bridge, whether that's like a homemade anchor or something that once anchored something down. Who knows? Um, I didn't end up keeping it. I just too heavy. And we have a boat anchor any which way. But the cool thing is, is uh, I said we'd probably pull a hundred fishing poles. Uh, before the end of the year, we now need seven to complete that. It's only October. <laughs> and uh, sure, the cold months are coming up. People are going to slow down from fishing, but I think we can pull seven fishing poles. Um, going to be going to a new spot this upcoming week. A boat dock in a uh, very rich part of uh, Tennessee. So there could be some really cool expensive finds there um hopefully some stuff i can try and sell i don't know about selling any of these like i thought about it but uh they're kind of rough i may have to start selling fishing poles because we got rid of one and we now have four so we're at 43 in my room some of these gotta go so we're gonna have to figure out the ones we absolutely must keep and all the ugly sticks are guaranteed keep and uh we're gonna have to get rid of some i'm gonna try and have a yard sale here and uh get rid of some that way we gotta have some room but yeah, if you like what you see please remember Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It helps me out tremendously and it makes me smile. And uh, as always, I hope y'all are doing that well out there morning, noon, and night. And uh, we will catch everybody in the next one. Boy.